time to sand cast a new sand rammer using the old sand rammer. Okay, here's the deal. This is a sand rammer you've seen me using. Uh, I got this from Chirpy, he sent this to me. It's made out of what appears to be pine, and it works. Two slight problems. One, the sand sticks to it. You can see, eh, it makes it kind of hard, like when you go to sand ram, you lift up, it pulls a lump of sand with it. Now you might say, uh, you could just sand that down and put a finish on there or something. I'm saying sand a lot. Aren't I? Sand is very important in, in the workshop, as it turns out. You might say a finish would fix that, and I, uh, I'm, I'm going to do that, basically. But the second problem, this is very large. So I printed up this. It's a new pattern. See, it's smaller. The main difference is the end. The end is smaller. Now this, it's not that much smaller, but remember, this is going to shrink uh, during, during the cooling, solidifying and cooling. And then also, this is just the, the raw pattern. I'm going to I'm going to grind it down quite a lot more. And I'm going to do something different, a little different with this than I've done before. So this is the vertical flask that I used to make the spear seen earlier. Oh, I should get that. Show and tell time. Here it is. Yeah, that was an earlier video. You should probably go watch that. I haven't really done anything with this. Although now that it's sharpened, it makes a really great box cutter because it's thick spine. I can just hurt right into a box and yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty sweet. That's a little off topic, but hey, stabbing things is fun, right? Anyways, I cast this vertically and I used a very tall riser here, or feeder or whatever it's called. You know, I poured into this, it went around, it trickled up through the blade. This became the riser feeder, medili, and uh, I was going to then use that as the handle. Although I never made this into anything because seriously, like swords and spears and knives and stuff are cool, but how on earth am I going to use a spear in my day to day life? You know, boar hunting? There aren't any wild boars in Wisconsin. Although I can hunt my workbench. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the same, the same kind of in system here. Very skinny, very skinny thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the tapered sprue on the top again. The tapered, no, wait, scratch that. I'm going to use the pouring basin thing on the top. So there's going to be the pouring basin goes into this. But there's a slight difference. <clears throat> this thing... This was a riser, so I knew when the molten metal came up to the top of here that it had filled the whole mold. This time I'm going to do kind of a blind mold. Check it out, copper pins, copper locating pins. When I made this, there were quarter inch holes and I could have swore I had quarter inch dowels out here, but no, can't find them. Don't know where they went, but they're not here. At least I can't find them. So I had to use copper. Pretty bling bling, too bad they'll be hidden. Oh, oh, also, I made this uh, in Fusion 360 and I'm putting the file up on, on my mini factory. If uh, there'll be a link down below, if it's not up, if it's not ready by the time uh, this video comes out, like if it's not approved, there's an approval process or something. Uh, if it's not ready yet, just wait a day or two. They're pretty quick about that. And it'll be free, it's not anything I'm gonna charge for. I know you can charge on my mini factory now, but I, not me. So anyways, I'm gonna put this here. This is going to come through the top, it's going to go down through the very skinny thing. I'm then going to cut the little in gate down here. This will be a trap. I know I saw in a video, uh, SW Dweeb had a, a circle trap. Fancy! I'm not that fancy, I'm just going to do, just, just going to end. And then I'm going to cut a very small in gate, same, same size as this, roughly speaking, into this. It will feed up. I'm going to vent through the top here with just a tiny, tiny wire, tiny wire vent. And I am not going to know if this fills all the way to the top. It'll be blind. Uh, well, I guess it'll, the metal will stop pouring in here, so that'll, that'll be my sign. But what about shrinkage? This is a pretty big honking thing, especially this. This part up top is going to be the biggest honkingest part of the entire thing. And it's also going to be vertical. So I'm going to get a lot of shrinkage up here, especially on this face. Well, you might notice this face looks kind of long. I made it extra long, like a finger longer than I want it to be. So hopefully there, this will act like a feeder. This face will shrink down. It will come out. This will be too long and nasty over here. I'll grind off the nasty from the top down to the, the size, whatever I feel like and that will get rid of the gross surface and I'll have a nice part. Eh? I don't know if that's a thing, if that's a good idea, bad idea, it's probably a bad idea. But that's what I'm going to do. Because I, I, 
I've heard Petrobon vents pretty well, and I'm just going to take a gamble. I won't have a sign that it's full of metal, like there won't be a, a little mini volcano of molten awesomeness coming out. Uh, but I guess that also means I'll be less likely to burn the, the, the flask. Hmm. It, did, it has been kind of roasted a bit, but it's still good. And now to the ramming. Hopefully, the sand will be better. That's a thing. Petrobon doesn't like being cold. Well, now it's like nice out. Check it out. It's like nice. So I got the door open even. Mostly because of that light, there's a big light there that fell down and smashed onto the ground. And I need the sunlight to like lighten the stuff up so you can see. Okay, enough blathering. Onto the, onto the sand stuff. Wedding ring off. I'm so glad it's not just my imagination that the Petrobon doesn't like when it's cold. Like this stuff is so sticky, but when it's cold, actually I'm not going to put this in right now. The stuff is usually so sticky. I'm like, what? What's what's going on? Is it did it lose its stickiness? Can that happen? Am I losing my mind? I mean, probably. I should still at least remember how sticky sand is. Oh yes, this is pushing through the sieve in a more difficult manner. That is a good sign. It's more like I'm squeezing it through. It's not just like filtering through. Now the main benefit of this smaller sized sand rammer is that I'll be able to get between like where I have the two risers too close together because I'm bad at planning. I can't get that big honking one between. This smaller one I'll be able to get between or between a riser and the, the edge, you know, the edge of the flask. I mean you might say I should plan the layout better or use the proper sized flask, but Answer me this. Shut up. Do do do. Line up them pins. See with this, with this for a, a pattern, I just kind of stick it in there. Halfway. Oh no, it moved. Oh no, the horror. Okay, that's not. That's not real great up there. I gotta patch that afterwards anyway. You know, I really gotta catch back up on these casting videos that a bunch of the people I knew have been making. Cause they've been doing some really awesome, informative stuff. And here I've been not watching everybody's videos. I mean, I don't have time to watch everybody's videos, but there's a lot more videos out there that I know I should watch than I have been watching. Even when I have time to watch videos, I usually pass out on the floor, and that's not good. Like, there's there's no way that that's a healthy thing to do. Who am I kidding? I don't have time to watch anything. I'm going to sacrifice sleep and catch up on videos. On that, I promise you. Ew, that didn't, that didn't release super good. It's good to sing poorly to your castings helps them come out better because they're so traumatized from the bad singing they don't want to have to go through it again at least that's my theory I need to fix that light fixture because this is backlit and I don't want it to be backlit backlighting always looks bad in my opinion wonder if this can grab better oh yeah oh no the horror! Yeah, there's only like three degrees of draft on this. I should have done more. That'll be fun to clean up. Oh well, not gonna fix it. Now to secure these flasks together, I'm going to use these big screws. I've, I've used these before the last time. Generally, flasks sit flat and the gravity of the top, the top flask full of sand can hold it. If you have a particularly big casting, it can float like the metal can float the sand up and you'll end up pouring metal out the sides. Uh, in that case, they generally put weights on top so that can help counteract the, the buoyancy. This is going to be sitting upright, so really the metal is going to be pushing them apart and there's not a lot holding them together. So now, just to make sure I don't have a spill situation, I'm going to screw the flasks together solid. Some people use clamps I generally use nothing, but I generally don't do vertical casting. Now for this part, instead of building up a large thing, I'm just going to kind of form my, uh, my pouring basin right here. I'm going to put this here, back in the hole, just to stop some sand from falling in there. Because at this point, the mold is made. 
Don't know if that's showing up, but I have a basin here, hole next to it. Yeah, it's not showing up, but here you can see. Well, you still can't see it. It doesn't read well in, on camera, but this pits way down. It's kind of up the ridge around, down deep, and then it overflows up down the hole there, which is currently plugged by that. Focus! Focus! Or don't. Okay. Fine, don't focus, you stupid camera. I'm, I'm not the boss of you, I guess. See what you say when you're in a blender. See how you like that, stupid refurbished camera. I'll show you what's a great buy, Amazon. This is really cool. This is like for wire things. You know, you put the, the two things in the little C-clip holes, squeeze it, and it pulls it apart so you can get the clips off. Neat. Works for, uh, works for copper rod, too. Fancy. Figure something out new every time you go in the garage, eh? Oh, and I should have mentioned this way earlier in the beginning of the video. I'm going to cast this on aluminum because I have a lot of aluminum left over. And I realize you didn't see any of that of me talking. That's fine. You don't need to see my face. Well, that didn't go well. Not one bit. It's even leaking. And it didn't take much. It's, I, I don't think this is a good one. Not at all. But we'll find out later. Okay. Oh boy, it's already coming apart. Not confident here. Not even a little bit. I feel like it should have taken way more metal. It took some. Uh, I think part of the problem is I vented, I said I was going to vent it, and I did. I vented it using, you know, the vents, and there were some holes all the way through and out the top. I don't know if that first crappy dump of metal blocked the holes, or if there just wasn't enough venting there. I don't know. Who knows? But it was vented. Oh dear. Oh dear, cross your finger. Why am I even worried? What's wrong with me? If it, if it doesn't work, I can just remelt it and do it again. What am I making a big deal? Probably because I don't have enough time to do it again before Friday to put the video up. And one more thing, just kidding, just kidding. I'm just stalling for fun. And, whoa, whoa, look at that. Whoa, it actually worked. What? What? Yeah. Get lost. Check that out. It's good surface finish. Very good surface finish, if I do say so myself. Focus. Just gets a little hairy up here. And as expected, the top sank in a little, but much less than I expected. So I can just chop the top of this bit off, or not even. I actually, I like the weight. Wow, if this crap can't focus. There. I actually like the weight. I might just smooth it out. Just grind it down a little bit. A little bit of flashing here, you know, where that chunk fell out. This, this here, that's a funny story. I was venting the top, I was venting it with a, a piece of steel filler rod, and when I poked a hole in, and I, before I pulled it out, I let go and it fell right in. So that's a piece of steel filler rod. Don't know where the other end is. I imagine it's there? Maybe it's that? Eh. It's, it's reinforcement. It makes it stronger, right? Like reinforced concrete. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Cool, shiny, shiny. Yeah. Wait, wait, let's let's see if it works. Uh, 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 uh. Now the other end. Kinda did that backwards, but whatever. Okay. 